ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lee Davis Red Raider Football Show. We're glad you guys could join us today. I'm Jim Fuller, sitting in for Jim Ram uh, Chip Ramsey here for just a moment, along with Coach Lee Davis. Coach, uh, a tough night in the pit in Fayetteville last night for you guys. Very tough night. You know, we dug ourselves a hole early, and uh, instead of finding our way out, we just kind of kept digging and, and dug all the way to China. You know, you, you started off the game last night, you know, uh, I think uh, the first three passes that uh, that Peyton Meeker threw uh, were intercepted, and uh, is that? Uh, we put together a fairly good drive there, the first drive uh -huh. of the game. We, we flipped the field a little bit, but, uh, you, you know, we ended up throwing six interceptions on the night and uh, against a good team. Uh -huh. uh, Lean County, you can't take anything away from them. Very physical, a lot quicker than I thought. Mm -hmm. I, I'd really kind of thought they were a big physical team, and they came out and showed Friday night they've got some speed and quickness. Okay. Now, I, I would imagine that that sort of alters your game plan, what you plan to do when you get down earlier, or were you able to pretty much go in there and execute your game plan? But no, our game plan went out the, the window pretty early. We got down so much we had to throw the football more. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, from people who've watched this show forever, no, I want to run the football. That You know, I'm an old offensive lineman. That's what I want to do. I want to line up, smack people in the mouth, mm -hmm. run the football, run the clock. And once we got down by 21 fairly early, we had to start throwing it. And, it, you know, we put our we put our quarterback in positions that we didn't want him in, throwing the football to, to different places on the field, and we just we got down. Okay, and, and uh, I would imagine that the, the pit in, uh, in uh, Fayetteville is a tough place to play as well. It is. It's one of my favorite stadiums, though, in the whole state of Tennessee. I've been around and seen a lot of stadiums, and it's just a great atmosphere. Uh, when when their crowd's there and it's loud and you're down inside the pit, it's a it's a great stadium to play at. It's a great atmosphere. Uh, the worst part about it, and you can ask any coach, is kind of the hidden secret. Uh, the worst part about it is they cook in the end zones. They cook uh, right outside the end zones, oh my goodness. and that smell comes down and sticks in the pit. So the entire uh -huh. game, you're smelling hamburgers and hot dogs right. and all this stuff. So you're starving by the time. The game <laughs> I think you had some uh, some key injuries last night as well. We did. We uh, on the, I think the second pass of the game. Uh, Chris Fallon got a concussion, uh -huh. and uh, we're, we're worried about him. Hopefully, I'll, I'll talk to him a little later today and see how he's doing. Uh, J.C. Simmons, starting defense tackle, broke his finger, uh, broke his thumb, so he was out. We tried to tape him up, put him back in. Uh, we did. We got beat up pretty good last night, but again, by a physical team. And I would imagine this late in the season, with two games left to play, uh, some of the a couple of these guys might be out for the rest of the season, or do you I, expect them to come back? You know, I don't know. I, I'll. I'll be able to reevaluate this week and really see how we're going to do. Head injuries are something we don't take lightly. No one can take lightly. Right. So we're really going to reevaluate Chris and make sure that he's ready to go before we put him back on the field. Okay. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, folks, and we'll be right back in just a moment with today's game. time of year again. This is Sarah McCamey with Markham's Pharmacy. Don't let the flu get you down this year. As a busy mom, it's hard to manage work, family, and all the extra activities. At Markham's Pharmacy, we're here to help make your life easier. Don't miss school or work this year because of the flu. There's no appointment necessary. Come on by and help your family stay flu free. Markham's Pharmacy is your hometown discount pharmacy and so much more. We hope to see you soon. KK's Jewelry in Tullahoma, Manchester is here to help you save thousands on that perfect piece of jewelry. You'll find new semi-mounts for less than half the price of traditional jewelry stores. At KK's, we have new one carat total weight wedding sets at $7.99 and up. KK's has beautiful pre-owned and reconditioned jewelry set in gold and silver at unbelievable prices. Let our professional and trained staff help you select the perfect jewelry gift for any occasion. Do you need a part for your car that the dealer just wants too much money for? Well, bring your toolbox and pull the parts yourself for huge savings at the CFC Auto Salvage Pick and Pull on Highway 55 between Tullahoma and Manchester. No walking through waist-high weeds here. All of our vehicles are located in our gravel parking lot up on blocks with room to work. We stock hundreds of cars and trucks, foreign, domestic, old, new, with new vehicles added daily. You can even search the entire vehicle inventory online. And if your old vehicle gives up the ghost, bring it by. We offer top dollar for your salvage vehicle open to the public seven days a week until 6 30 or dark so there's plenty of time to come by that cfc auto salvage pick and pull 
They say you see the world differently. It's like you see the miracle of life in even the smallest things. That's what it feels like to survive. St. Thomas Heart has more locations than anyone in the state, giving more heart patients a new lease on life. For more than 40 years, they've been leaders in cardiac care. That's experience you can count on. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas. The comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. Brought to you by Elk River Public Utility District. 31W Insulation offers custom look garage doors to enhance the appearance of your home. These are beautiful, durable, and energy efficient doors. Give your home the fresh, classic, distinctive look it deserves. From rural to rustic artistry, 31W Insulation has what you're looking for. Visit us online at 31W.com to see how we can make beautiful and affordable improvements to your home. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Teams taking the field. Not many people. Oh my! He missed. Uh, off to a rough start here. Somebody wants to go home. What's he doing? If you're not watching college football in HD, you're watching Pee Wee TV. Graduate to Charter TV in HD and let it all in. Well, you're back, and it's not Jim Fuller, it's Chip Ramsey. Jim was filling in for me while the company car was uh, was trying to get me to the Tullahoma. Um, Coffee County, Lincoln County, we're watching the coin toss, and Coach, we were talking just a minute ago, the best part about this game is that we win the coin toss. Yeah, for some odd reason, we are actually undefeated on the coin toss this year. <laughs> we've had uh, eight games, and we've won eight coin tosses. So I, I don't know how we do that. Um, but that's pretty good when you're undefeated on the coin toss. Our kids do a good job of guessing heads or tails. Well, they're, uh, they, they've got a career in Vegas. But maybe got some, maybe some book opportunities for them. Got any of the local bookies in town. But here come the Red Raiders down in the pit, Lincoln County. Before the game, how how are uh, how how's a how's everybody said before this game? Pretty good. Everybody was ready to roll. I thought we were uh, we were excited to be there, and everybody was you know really really fired up and ready to go. A little busted play here to start the game, and uh, Meeker does a good job there of throwing it away and getting us back in the huddle. This was actually a, a pretty good first drive we got. We, we protected Meeker pretty good. Through curl flat, it's a great snag there by Chris Vaughn to flip the field for us, and uh, we, we feel like we got something moving here. Come back, run a stretch play to Cody House, and he turns it up for a nice little gain. So you know we, we're feeling good right now, and this is when the feelings go away. Kid makes a good play, you know, tip ball. Uh, also on this play, we uh, we lose Chris Vaughn for the game. He got a concussion, so we're uh, we're really worried about him. We're going to check on him. Did he lead the game? Coach? He did. He left the game, and he was he was to himself. He was just kind of a little a little loopy. So I don't know if I should really call it a concussion more than he just kind of got a little loopy. 
but uh, we we weren't going to test that. We weren't going to throw them back out there. We're not we're not going to put any kids' health at jeopardy at any time. Lincoln County misses the extra point on the pick six, and it's six to nothing. Lincoln County at the pit. Coffee County back on offense. Here we go with another pass and another pick. And uh, again, turned it over, and he. Uh, we do a good job of getting him down, making him snap the ball again. That was that was one positive there is when you can make him snap it and, and make him score. You, you hate to give up free points off any kind of turnover, so just put him back in the huddle and make him snap it. Great job here by our defense, stretching it out, uh, making it hard for them to get in. It's kind of it's good to see. Uh, you know, our, our defense didn't play awful Friday night. Uh, we they were just put in so many bad situations by our offense. But you know, just like that, a lot of people didn't get back from concession stand with popcorn. It's already 13 nothing. <clears throat> little uh, miscommunication here that uh, leads to another interception. The defense has got to be getting uh, on their heels even early in the first quarter as a um, somewhat. I mean, yeah, they're oh, yeah. I mean, you know, they've, they've been on the field. I mean, that you know, we've asked them now to, to make stops inside their own territory. I mean, you know, you give, you cut the field down for anybody and tell them, okay, you only have to go 30 yards, and it's hard to do. Referee provides a good pick there on the play, and it's 20 to nothing. 20 to nothing, and, uh, you know, like I was telling Jim Fuller earlier, game plans kind of go out the window now. You, you're, you, you've got to score. I mean, it's first quarter, and uh, you've got to throw the football. Here we, we come out running a little bit because we feel like we have to. I mean, we have to get a little more confidence in what we're doing and get our offensive line to lean and move their feet and let's run the football a little bit. And Dalton Carter does a good job of falling forward here. <clears throat> There's a first down, allows us to move the chains a little bit. Here we go back now. We got a freshman, Garrett Eldridge, in the game. Out there at receiver. Uh, one of Garrett's strong points is going up and getting the football on deep balls. So we thought we'd take a chance with him and throw it out there. <coughs> Again, having to throw the football. Here's a uh, great play by Cole Hawkins. Cole makes a very good snag here and a, a good run after the play. Cole's turned into a, a really good receiver for us. And on this night, with, with Vaughn out, he was our number one target. Speaking of freshmen, we got the freshman Reese Pratt in the game, uh, running the football. Uh, you know, you look back at this game and you, you'll hear a lot of negatives about it. The truth of the matter is, the positives are uh, we got some young guys playing. I mean, the future of this team looks bright, and uh, I, I really look forward to uh, seeing what this team can do in the future with all these young guys out there playing. Empty backfield, and again, we're going for the pass. We're uh, yeah, just shot it right over the head of a uh, of Pratt. Here it is, fourth down. You, know, you saw something on film we really liked, and boy, just right oh. over the outstretched arms. We we thought we had something there, and uh, luckily though, we were able to flip the field, move it a little bit, and run some clock. Defense back on the field, and a you know, great job there by Seth Thompson and J.C. Simmons. Uh, defense is defense is playing pretty good right now. I mean, they, for what we've put them in and all the the bad we've put them in, they're they're still fighting. And it was great to see that all night long the kids didn't quit. I mean, they've I think that's one thing they've really done this year is they've really grown up and they're not the team that's going to roll over and die. So that's great to see as a head coach. Good ball pursuit. Yeah, great yeah. job there by uh, Justin Smith, and I think I saw uh, Big Jim Hollinsworth in there and. Force him to putt.
Back on offense. Just right out the outstretched arms there. Uh, Stone out there to Cole Hawkins again. Good run here by Meeker. And uh, you know, almost got us to fourth, uh, first down. I think it was fourth and three. And uh, most of the time, four and three, I'd like to go for it. But there inside your own 20, you just, you can't. So we had to punt the JRG, who got a lot of playing time wide receiver Friday night with a punt and gets us about to midfield. Lincoln County takes over on offense, and uh, we're still in the first quarter. <clears throat> Lincoln County, like I said at the beginning, Lincoln County kind of surprised me a little bit with their speed. They, We always knew they were big, but uh, they were a lot faster than they looked on film, and, and than I thought they would be. I was I was impressed with the, uh, the, the boys down there in Lincoln County. Great job there, Grayson Great. Miller. Great job on the line of, yeah. uh, of filling those gaps, and that uh, takes us to the end of the first quarter. It's uh, still 20 to zero, Lincoln County Falcons with the ball. It comes the power, and uh, you know they see that every day at practice. So you, you hope they can at least stop the power as much as possible. Again, defense swarming the ball. A lot of red helmets around the ball. count there uh, the Lincoln County quarterback draws Coffee County off sides and great job there by Mill Horner squeezing down making a play good job there too by Grayson getting upfield giving that making him give the ball Right over the outstretched arms there. Justice Benitez on the coverage. Justice got started corner this week. And uh, it's a name we haven't heard all year. Uh, Benitez, really good. Going to be a really good player for us. He's a uh, sophomore this year and uh, got the start. Defense is fighting. That's what you like to see. I mean, make them drive the football. Make them put it back in the huddle. Make them get the snap. They're in their little wildcat formation and just got us outflanked and, and scored. I mean, that was that was a good drive by them and a good job by our defense of making them, making them earn it. This extra point, 26-0, Franklin, uh, Lincoln County. They employ the pooch kick. Yeah, this is a uh, come back out, try to throw a little curl flat out here, and uh, just got pressured. And uh, me, me, Beaker's first sack of the game, and uh, he took about two more of those, and I was afraid he wasn't going to get up. Here's a little errant pass for another interception. Uh, he got tipped, you know, got hit, and uh, now we've turned the ball over inside the 20 yard line. Their wildcat package. They're just kind of pushing the pile. Almost turns into a rugby scrummage right there at the end. Looked like it for a second. Lots of helmets in a pile. Wildcat quarterback does a good job getting outside, and we kind of <laughs> make a play. There's a little house in there jumping on the pile. Wildcat follows the lead right into the end zone. Point after is good. It's 33 to nothing, and that's the score that would stay in place to the end of the half.
Again, want to run the football, get a little confidence built up here. Sweep to Gavin Houston. Uh, Gavin had a good night Friday night. He, yeah, uh, he did. Scored a touchdown late in the game, and uh, he played well. I mean, we've got we've got really, well, we've really got about four or five backs, and uh, they'll all be returning next year. That we really think a lot of. Uh, that's a great problem to have is when you have a lot of backs. We uh, we really think a lot of. Actually, we think a lot of all of them. You know, you talking Dalton Carter, Cody House, even Justice Benitez, Reese Pratt. And Gavin Houston. I mean, that's that's a good, it's a good nucleus of backs to build on, build the future on. How has the loss of Rogier affected this team in terms of its running game, in terms of your scheme? Uh, well, you know, uh, you, you you hate to talk about a loss of anybody. Uh, you know, he was just a big, powerful back, and now we've got a lot of little scat backs. That that's pretty much the Pratt is the uh, the heir apparent power back. And besides that, you just got a whole lot of those little scat backs back there. We're still in Lincoln County. Late in the second, and late in the second quarter, and uh, yeah, uh, we're defense battling. does a great job here of yeah. uh, of keeping them out of the end zone. You know, they they really buck up here. It's right before halftime, they're trying to make sure they don't leave anything on the clock. And um, our defense does a great job. Great job here, stretching it out, and uh, over the ball, man. Absolutely, your, your your defense is is covering the corners very well. They are. Look, this is fourth down here, and uh, you know we do a good job of getting them down. We get the ball, and there's one more play before halftime. We just try to run the clock out and and get in to get into halftime. Halftime, your score is 33-0, Lincoln County over Coffee County, and in a first half that was marked by uh, five pickup picks. Five. I think so. I lost count after a while, but again, a uh, unfortunate situation for the defense. They were they found themselves uh, back in their own territory very often. To start start scrimmage. We'll go to a commercial break, and we want to thank our sponsors again with uh, Mid-South Distributors for their Aqua Hydrate, the fine water there that keeps us going here and keeps us alive on Saturday mornings, and uh, the Donut Palace fueling us with great donuts and Tri-County Roofing, keeping a roof over our head. Folks, we'll be back in just a few minutes with the Coach Lee Davis Red Raider Football Show. time of year again. This is Sarah McKamey with Markham's Pharmacy. Don't let the flu get you down this year. As a busy mom, it's hard to manage work, family, and all the extra activities. At Markham's Pharmacy, we're here to help make your life easier. Don't miss school or work this year because of the flu. There's no appointment necessary. Come on by and help your family stay flu free. Markham's Pharmacy is your hometown discount pharmacy and so much more. We hope to see you soon. KK's Jewelry in Tullahoma and Manchester is here to help you save thousands on that perfect piece of jewelry. You'll find new semi-mounts for less than half the price of traditional jewelry stores. At KK's, we have new one-carat total weight wedding sets at $7.99 and up. KK's has beautiful pre-owned and reconditioned jewelry set in gold and silver at unbelievable prices. Let our professional and trained staff help you select the perfect jewelry gift for any occasion. 
Do you need a part for your car that the dealer just wants too much money for? Well, bring your toolbox and pull the parts yourself for huge savings at the CFC Auto Salvage Pick and Pull on Highway 55 between Telehome and Manchester. No walking through waist-high weeds here. All of our vehicles are located in our gravel parking lot up on blocks with room to work. We stock hundreds of cars and trucks, foreign, domestic, old, new, with new vehicles added daily. You can even search the entire vehicle inventory online. And if your old vehicle gives up the ghost, bring it by. We offer top dollar for your salvage vehicle. Open to the public seven days a week until 6.30 or dark, so there's plenty of time to come by. That's CFC Auto Salvage Pick and Pull. They say you see the world differently. It's like you see the miracle of life in even the smallest things. That's what it feels like to survive. St. Thomas Heart has more locations than anyone in the state, giving more heart patients a new lease on life. For more than 40 years, they've been leaders in cardiac care. That's experience you can count on. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. Brought to you by Elk River Public Utility District. 31W Insulation offers custom look garage doors to enhance the appearance of your home. These are beautiful, durable, and energy efficient doors. Give your home the fresh, classic, distinctive look it deserves. From rural to rustic artistry, 31W Insulation has what you're looking for. Visit us online at 31W.com to see how we can make beautiful and affordable improvements to your home. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. Teams taking the field. Not many people. Oh my! He missed. Uh, off to a rough start here. Somebody wants to go home. What's he doing? If you're not watching college football in HD, you're watching Pee Wee TV. Graduate to Charter TV in HD and let it all in. We're back, second half action, Lincoln County and Coffee County. Lincoln County gets the opening kickoff. Coffee County trails 33-0 in first half. Uh, second, start, start the second half, first half picks. Uh, we counted five to our memory that uh, really set the Raider offense, uh, the Raider defense back on their heels and Lincoln County takes advantage of it. Defense still fighting, it's good to see. You know. Uh... House does a good job of getting them down. Halftime, the kids knew that you know they had to pick it up, and they, they had to keep playing. There was it was great to see though after you know at halftime locker room and all there was no quit in them. They were ready to get back on the field and, and keep fighting. It's one thing you can say about this team is, is they love to play football. Good downfield blocking. Yeah, I thought their receivers did a really good job at Lane County of blocking down the field. It was they uh, they do a good job down there. It's talent you don't always uh, find in a lot of high school or high school level play, but uh, they, they do a good job of it. Good job they there, uh, Gavin Houston doing Gavin in a little corner. He's not just a uh, tailback by heart. He can play a little corner too. And he insists that he is not a scad back. No, he is, he 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 can run people over. He tells me. He can truck people. Zero Lincoln County.
thought our uh, kickoff return team did a really good job at uh, fair catching the ball and making sure it didn't hit the ground. Here's the uh, little B post that we had earlier that we liked. And again, just uh, right past the linebackers, we thought we'd be good. Curl flat again, trying to get the ball to the JRG. And, uh, sets up a, a fourth and seven, and punt the football. Good job flipping the field, backing them up a little bit and making them drive. Good job there, Justin Smith, David Keith. They just kind of, you know, you just can't win games when you're behind in the first quarter and they run the football and just kind of keep ripping. It's a great job there, Justin Smith. Good, good feel at linebacker. Justin's turned in to be an outstanding linebacker. He's He's been really, really impressive all year long. Just doing a good job of <clears throat> getting heads on bodies and moving the ball right now. Chewing clock. Kind of just leaning and yeah, that's all you can say. You know, there's not a lot to say about this drive. There's a little turnover. We we recover and uh, get the ball back here to start the fourth quarter. It's so one thing at halftime we talked about. We really wanted to do was we we really wanted to. Uh, Run a sweep more. There's an a interception. Kid makes a great play there. Uh, just kind of jumped up right in front of us and got the ball back. But, you know, now you turn the ball over on the five yard line. Broken play there for Lincoln County. A <clears throat> new quarterback in the game. Man, I tell you what's scary about Lincoln County is uh, I think their quarterback that they really liked this year was uh, he's been injured all year had a broken growth plate so they they as dangerous as they are and if anybody watched the John Oliver show before you could hear him talk about how uh, how dangerous Lincoln County is fight breaks out in the end zone and uh, <clears throat> what's uh, what was the, the aftermath of the, uh, the fight coach uh, aftermath of the fight they lost player we lost player um, we lose them for two games uh, we lost them for a week and uh, a week and some money. Again, good little stretch play here to uh, Carter. We got Gavin back in the game now. And, uh, Gavin does a good. Oh, that's Carter. I'm sorry. That's Carter finding a nice hole, hitting it, and uh, we're moving. Moving right on down the field, you know this this was a drive that I really thought we had to have, and uh, you'll see an unbelievable grab coming up. Uh, where we throw a we throw a go route, and you talk about unbelievable. This kid over here, watch this catch. Snagged it, stayed in bounds, interception. Uh, that was you know that was one of those that 
you kind of got to give it up. And think, you know, I watched film this morning. I don't think I slept more than an hour last night, so I've seen this film three or four times. And uh, that was one, the first time I saw it, all I could say was, wow, I, you know, great job by that kid. Good job there, Travis Dixon. Even still playing strong. Oh, yeah. And getting penetration into the backfield. Great job there, Hunter Smithson. Last drive of the game. Coming up. Clark is running nonstop at this point, so the, <clears throat> the game has, has been abbreviated greatly. Get, get a little house to the outside. Good a, game. Good job of stringing the play out and getting some yardage on the field eventually. Draw play to Gavin Houston. Gains about nine yards. Good job. Here we go, another sweep to house out on the edge. Good job there by Zane Slater. Uh, Zane's another young one, sophomore, that's going to be good. Uh, he's he, he's kind of our uh, utility lineman. You look up sometimes and he's playing right tackle and look up again, he's playing right guard and look up again, he's playing center and he's left guard, left tackle. He kind of knows it all. Great job here by Gavin of getting in the end zone. He still makes a great cut back and finds a... Finds a hole there. Touchdown, Coffee County. Final minute of the game. We have to try is good. Take a knee, and uh, that's the ball game. That's it. Well, there we go. I'm going to look at this camera now because I, I've been, uh, Coach, I've been, had to get my camera straight this week. For the whole season, I've been, I've been off on my cameras. Uh, Lincoln County, 47, Coffee County, 7. Uh, that is your final in here. And Bob, what am I doing with this? That's thing? good. They keep it your other one's off. My other one is off. So apparently this one is, uh, that, one is de that one is dead. My mic is dead, so now I'm mic'd up here. Uh, this is this is nice. It reminds me. That, uh, that looks like a muppet. Yeah, it does look like a like a muppet. I want to squeeze it and make it make a sound or something like that. But uh, Coffee County, uh, Coach, next week. Um, what's going on next week? Let's get this one. Let's forget about this one. Yeah, this one's done. This one, this you know, uh, this there's a 24-hour rule. Sometimes it rolls over to 48 hours. So I told them, you know, let this loss sink in for about 48 hours and let it go. Uh, I've got to heed my own advice, you right. know. Like I said, I, I don't, I don't think I slept more than an hour last night. So uh, I've watched this film over and over and over, and uh, it makes me sick every time I watch it. But it's done, it's over. We got to let it go, and we got to focus on Shelbyville, best team in the region. They're going for a region title. Uh, you're talking speed on top of speed on top of speed, and uh, very physical, and they make you pay. They, like I said, they're, in my opinion, they're the best team we'll play all year. Shelbyville uh, comes, uh, well, well, we come, we come to Shelbyville with a, uh, with a team that has dominated a lot of their, lot of their other opponents. Uh, I think they beat uh, Lincoln County something like 41 to nothing. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, got, got uh, clipped by Tullahoma early in the season, which, which maybe was a lit down game from them. Hopefully they'll be looking past us and looking towards the playoffs and into their final season game, and uh, maybe we might get a snake bite on them. Uh, keys for that game, obviously, uh, Coach, uh, s s slowing some guys down and, and making fewer mistakes, right? Oh, we can't afford mistakes. I mean, they are honestly the team. They do their best when you make a mistake because when you make a mistake on defense, they score seven points. You make a mistake on offense, you don't gain a yard. They are uh, they're so fast and they're so quick any mistakes and we're finished. So we need to play a perfect game. We need to have a great week of practice and uh, we need to we need to have fun. Shelbyville and then Tullahoma in the Coffee Pot Classic uh, at home this year and uh, so we've got a, a good good season to finish out, a good way to finish out. Your, your players, um, how are their heads, you know, how, how are their hearts after the end of this game and what's, what's going forward with this team? Very resilient team. They seem to just to 
show up and play football no matter what uh, what the score was or is or what's what's ahead of them. They have. I, I'm very proud of them for that. That was something that I've really preached to them is, you know, you play football for four quarters. You, it doesn't matter what score, turn the scoreboard off, you play because you don't have very many chances. I mean, you look at these seniors, uh, you look at your Meekers, your Vaughns, your Smithsons, your Grayson Millers, you know, your Dakota Westmoreland's, Prater, Banks, you can go through all of them. You know, they've only got two more games of football left in their career. They got two more games and their high school football career is done. Uh, that's heartbreaking to me because I can remember my last season, I can remember my last two games. And uh, it's, a, it's a fun time and you just hate to see it go. And that's what we're gonna focus on is let's do it right for the seniors and let's, let's go two and zero. Oh. A lot of melancholy in those that last game. You're you're looking forward to it on one level, and uh, and another one you're just uh, so sad. <laughs> oh, it's it's heartbreaking. It's I mean, you know, I told the kids earlier this week uh, we had a a tragedy at school with a kid who uh, went to school last year there that, that passed away, and I told them that you know my office is always open for them if they need somebody to talk to. Uh, you hate to say it, but you know I spend probably as much, if not more, time with them than their parents do because they're with me all day long. So I told them if they ever need anything. So you, you you take a kid like that and you've spent that much time with them, and they graduate and they're gone, and it's a it's a sad you know the Tullahoma game there'll be tears shed like there is at the end of every every year. All right, so we'll wrap it up here for this uh, edition of the Coach Lee Davis Red Raider Football Show. We want to thank our sponsors again, Mid South Distributors, with their fine aqua hydrate water. It's got electrolytes and stuff in it. It ain't just water. Tri-County Roofing and the Donut Palace uh, fueling our uh, our expanding guts here at uh, Channel 6 and at the Coach Lee Davis Red Raider football show. I'm Chip Ramsey with the Coffee County Independent. We look forward to seeing you next weekend. Have a good night.